This screencast demonstrates how to use a pump simulator block in the Aspen Plus software. To begin, create a new simulation with English units. Enter the process component water and select the steam tables as your property method. Run the property analysis, then go to the simulation environment. Under the pressure changes tab, create a pump. Connect the inlet and outlet streams and label everything appropriately. Click the blue next arrow to enter information about the feed stream. Specify the temperature as 100 degrees Fahrenheit and the pressure as 80 PSA. Enter the mass flow rate of water as 10,000 kilograms per hour. Next, enter information about the pump. We will use a performance curve to determine the discharge conditions. Enter the pump and driver efficiencies at 60 and 90% respectively. Click on the blue next arrow to enter information about the pump performance. First, select tabular data as the curve format with the performance and flow variables as head and volumetric flow rate respectively. We will input a single curve at the operating speed. Click on the blue next arrow to enter the curve data. The data we have is head in units of meters and flow in units of cubic meters per hour. In the data table, enter 40, 250, 300, and 400 meters. Enter corresponding flow rates of 20, 10, 5, and 3 meters cubed per hour. You are now ready to run the simulation. Once the solution converges, click on the results under the pump block to see the brake power and the net positive suction head. Now, instead of having pump efficiency as a constant value, we will create an efficiency curve that varies as a function of flow rate. Purge the results and go back to the setup folder on the menu tree. Delete the pump and driver efficiencies from previously. Go to the Performance Curve folder and click on the Efficiencies tab. Change the flow rate to cubic meters per hour and enter the efficiencies of 60, 62, 61, and 60% corresponding to 20, 10, 5, and 3 cubic meters per hour. Run the simulation and view the results. Notice how the brake power slightly decreased and the net positive suction head stayed the same. Also notice that the pump efficiency used in this case is 62%. Watch the following video in the YouTube playlist to learn how to use a compressor simulator block. For more Aspen Plus tutorials, visit the Cornell CBE YouTube channel.